going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now said dang we've got the 18th ipl match of the season the mumbai indians take on rcb and rcb win pretty comfortably in the end they win by seven wickets with nine deliveries left look unfortunately mumbai they're not going too well are they we will get to the table of course after the review but look it's just not it's just has not been a good start for Rohit sharma's men and you know what? I mean, shit. Both CSK and Mumbai are down the bottom. It's got me shocked. It really does have me shocked. But hey, that's the good thing about IPL is that anyone can win on their goddamn day. So that's why you love it. Hey, player of the match though was Anuj Rawat. Now, do I know much about this kid? Probably not. Not enough. I know he's an opening batsman wicket keeper. I know that he's played... A, a decent amount of first class games. I know that he, he averages like 40... Four, I think, in List A cricket. I think he averages around like 35 in um, Ranji Trophy, maybe? Or maybe it's the T20 format. The D What's it called? The, uh... Shit, what's the T20 comp called? In India. Shit, I forgot it. Oh, the VJ Hazar Trophy. That's it. Um, I think he... I can't remember what his stats are. <laughs> maybe we should... You know what? Fuck it. We're going to check them out live here with you all. That's what we're doing. Um, because you know what? Here we go. He's played five IP... Okay, we don't care about his IPL stats just yet. We want to... All right, you know what? This is taking the video way off track. So if you want to skip through, um, then be my guest. But if you uh, you just want to chill with me and just have a look here. All right, so 22 first-class matches. There's a spider. Okay, we're going to ignore that. Um, first-class, 22 matches. He's got 200s. His average is 30. That's pretty solid. Is that um, Ranji Trophy? List A is uh, ODI cricket. He averages 44. And then in the VJ Hazar trophy, he averages uh, 29. That's, that's pretty good. High score of 88. So he's a pretty solid player. How old is he? How old is he? He can't be too old. Oh, 1999. He's only 22. Oh, wow. So this guy... Okay, this spider has got to fuck off. All right. There we go. It was flying on a web in front of my face. And if I'm recording, you've got to get out of my goddamn way. All right. Hey, now we will get into the review. I will not waste any more of your time. Mumbai Indians into bat first. Ishan Kishan, Rohit Sharma just unfortunately could not get going um, and kick on with their opening partnership. Kishan gone for 26 off 28. He didn't get going at all. Rohit Sharma, 26 off 15. I mean, we've seen some beautiful shots early, but it's just not enough from the skipper. And unfortunately, he's not in good form. Um, and they need a, they, I mean, if, if they don't get runs out of a Kishan, a Sharma, or a Surakama Yadav, I don't know where their runs are coming from. You've got a young gun. You've got two young guns in your team of Tilak Varma, DeWald Brevis. You know, but you can't be relying on these guys who were just playing their first few games to, to go out there and score 50-plus every game. It's just not going to happen. Um, they are missing... Who are they missing in this team? I, I know there's... Obviously, they... they No Dan Sams, no Tymel Mills. So they dropped two of their internationals and only went with two overseas players in Brevis and Pollard. And, I mean, yeah, I like it, but I actually thought Time Will Mills bowled okay. Um, I know the pitch was pretty spin-friendly, if you want to say, especially in that first innings. But, well, no, sorry. Yeah, no, in the first innings, definitely in that first innings. So, look, they just need a little bit more from guys at this top order. They need more out of the captain. It's as simple as that. They need him to stand up and, and put on a show in their next game because... If they if they lose another game, they're in they're in a lot of danger to to finish near the bottom. Not even to make playoffs, but to finish on the bottom for for Mumbai would be a pretty big like. I reckon the fans would be very upset if they were to finish last um, on the table. Dewald Brevis, look, going for eight. Hasaranga is just it was just his paradise to bowl. It would just stay low. It, it, it I mean Hasaranga is a small man as it is. But he bowls like so low to the ground. He makes it so hard for batsmen to try and get under the ball and put it, not only put it over the boundary, but trying not to get trapped in front. And that's what happened to Brevis. He has never seen a delivery like that in his life. He was bewildered. <laughs> it hit him right, pitching right in middle stump. And it was going to destroy every single stump there, big Harsey boy. So, hey, he bowled fantastic. Surakami Yadav. Not out, 68 off 37. If they did not have him, 
Mumbai would have been bowled out for anything under 120, I would have thought. You know, he, he's the only one that made over 30. I mean, he played this beautiful helicopter. I mean, he, the bloke hit six sixes. He hit five fours. 68 off 37 is a great knock. Um, it's good to see Sky doing well, isn't it? I mean, everyone you know, wants to see this guy in Indian colours, probably at least in every white ball format. So... And I guess India kind of are looking for that number four. I mean, it depends where you play Virat in a World Cup. Is it at three or four? But, you know, Surakam Yadav, he's not hurting his chances at all by being picked in a World Cup. Talak Varma, run out for none off three. Yeah, there was no run there. Glenn Maxwell. I mean, of all the people in the field you want to take on in the field, it's not Glenn Maxwell. Um, you made a mistake there. Kyron Pollard, gone for a golden duck. Hasaranga, yeah. The big fella Pollard. He's saying, I'm not bending my fucking knees to get down to this little guy. And he paid the price. He got LBW. Uh, Ram and Dan, Ram. I'll say it again. Ram and Deep Singh. 6 off 12. Jadev Undercut. 13 off 14. Not out. Some late runs. But at the end of the day, on this sort of deck, 150 was really not going to be enough unless Mumbai took early, early wickets, which they did not. The RCB bowlers, David Willey, only bowled the two overs. Opened up the bowling. Um, none for eight off two. I thought he bowled pretty well, you know, for two overs. Mohamed Siraj. I mean, you want to talk about a bad day at the office. It's just, I mean, someone has to go for runs. But when you're the only person to go for runs and all your other teammates are having great days out, it's got to feel pretty low for Siraj. None for 51 off four. It just was not his day. Um, and I mean, you look at their bowlers... David Willey is a guy who bowls those 120s to 135s. Can bowl slower balls, obviously. Hasarunga is a spinner. Akash Deep, well, he's a very good paceman. Harshal Patel bowls a lot of, you know, off-pace delivery. Shabazz Ahmed as well. So there was a lot of slow bowling that Mumbai just didn't seem ready for um, and couldn't read it really off the deck. Akash Deep, one for 20 off four. Um, yeah, bowled really well. Arshul Patel, two for 23 or four. This man just takes wickets, doesn't he? He is, he is a gun. And if I, I know this is going to be a very, very, maybe unpopular opinion, but Arshul Patel should be in the T20 World Cup squad for India. Now, I don't know if that's a bad call for some people or if people actually agree with me on that, but you bring a guy like Arshul Patel to Australia, he's going to flourish on these sort of decks, especially on decks like, well, especially the MCG, the SCG, like, uh, he will dominate. If, and they have to bring him. Whether he plays or not, maybe you play him against, like, a Bangladesh or a Sri Lanka to get him some form, but he's a gun, and he is seriously talented with what he can do with the with the ball. So I'd be, I'd be taking him to a World Cup. If he played for Australia, I'd be taking him to the World Cup easily. He'd be in Australia's best 11 Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not best 11, but he'd definitely be very close. And Shabazz Ahmed, none for 19 off two. So, hey, 152 was the target they set for RCB. Unfortunately, it was just never going to be enough, was it? All right, into the lineup. Faf C, and, of course, the man of the match, Anuj Rawat. Faf C gone for 16 off 24. He just did not really get going. He didn't look comfortable. Couldn't read the ball. Jado Vandercut bowled a slower one. Pitched it up. Out you go. Um, Rawat, 66 off 47. Look, unfortunate to get run out, but the game was well over when he went out. So, you know, uh, plenty of credit. And some of the shots he played, especially he... There was this one delivery. I can't remember who bowled it, but... Oh, shit. It might have been Boomer, um, who bowled it right at his toes. And I'm like, yeah, this is going to... Obviously, like, be LB or... You would assume this will go straight through him. It'll knock his middle stump out or it'll hit him on the pad. He just stood there, whipped it off his toes, and it went for six. And I'm thinking, who the fuck is this? You just hit Jasper Bumra, arguably the best Yorker king in cricket right now, for six. And I'm like, what is this shit? Like, who is this guy? <laughs> He's impressed me a lot there, and I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on him from now on. So I know that I'm probably late. To the fan club, but I'm jumping on now, so don't worry. Virat Kohli gone for 48. He goes out to Dewald Brevis with his first delivery in IPL. Firstly, Brevis, um, yeah, might just stick to batting Brevi. Uh, I wouldn't say he's the most talented bowler I've ever seen, but hey, you take the wicket of Virat Kohli, that's as good as it gets for your first wicket in the IPL. But was it out? 
and I want to say no. Now, I didn't see the... Um, I, obviously, they gave it LB. They went to ball tracking. But I thought he hit it. I definitely heard a snick. Verat seemed to be very pissed off that he went out. Um, they just don't want to see him succeed, do they? They just do not want to see him bring up any milestone of 50. <laughs> Everyone is against him, I swear. Like, I, I couldn't believe he was given out. Um, I definitely heard a noise. I don't know if I'm wrong about that because I haven't actually seen if there was any edge at all. So I might be talking complete bullshit, but I definitely thought I heard something. Um, but again, lucky the game was over. Dinesh Kartik came out, said, yep, I want to go home. I'm hitting a six and I'm leaving. He hit a six and he left. <laughs> and that was it for DK. Big DK, the game changer. Hey, he is just, you know, he's just looking great behind them stumps. Big DK, eh? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Glenn Maxwell as well, hit a reverse sweep for four and said, yeah, I want to fucking go home as well. <laughs> I want to go give my wife a call on the phone. That's what he wanted to do, big Lenny boy. Um, and hey, they, they, they batted really, really well. And I mean, we said it in the preseason that this RCB is, team is as strong as it could ever be. Like, I mean, obviously it doesn't compare to AB de Villiers, Virat, Glenn, oh no, Glenn wasn't there. Chris Gale, you know, those sort of players. But, psh, I mean, this team is pretty good. This is this is a very, very strong RCB team. Um, all right, the Mumbai Indian bowlers. Basil Tampi, none for 29 off four. Jadev Undaka, one for 30 off four. Bumra, none for 31 off four. Muragana Ashwin, none for 26 off three. Chiron Pollard, none for 24 off three. And the GOAT bowler himself, DeWald Brevis, one for eight off three deliveries. So, just class there. Um, is DeWald Brevis the best spinner in the world? I want to say yes. I want to say he's the best bowler in the world. <laughs> um, if you don't know, I'm joking. So, please do not attack me in the comments for saying that. Okay. Well, that's, you know, RCB get the win very comfortably. Now we have a look at the table. Kolkata on top. Gujarat Titans. Second, RCB are now into third. Yeah, they're looking good. Uh, LSG, they play tonight against Rajasthan. So fourth versus fifth tonight. This will be a tallying contest. Punjab at sixth. That's okay. We'll be better. Delhi Capitals at seventh. SRH got themselves a win before Mumbai and CSK. They're in eighth. And Mumbai Indians and CSK, they're both zero and four. And they're both last. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. I, I'm honestly shocked. Like, it's actually nice to see some different teams at the top, though I will be honest. It is very, very refreshing to see some new teams near the top. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not a CSK or Mumbai Indians fan, so I know I don't feel what the, the fans are feeling right now, but I would imagine it's not great. Oh, what the fuck is this? Okay, I really hope that doesn't leak anything or something. But hey, all right, the orange cap, Joss Butler on top, Shubi Gill second, the man Kishy Boy in third, Livingston, yeah, he's in fourth. Quinton de Kock, he's in fifth into the purple cap. We've got Umesh Yadav, Hasaranga, who's having an incredible tournament with the Paul, uh, Avesh Khan, Chaha, and Chahal both equal on seven wickets. Um, who's got the highest batting average? Surakami Yadav, yeah, shit, he hasn't even gone out yet, has he? Um, okay, all right, I guess that's going to cap it off uh, tonight. Yep, Rajasthan, LSG. <sighs> should be a massive game, should be a great game. Hey, that will cap it off. RCB, get the win comfortably. And hey, that's going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.